love for your mommy. I know you wanna be somebody, even if you gotta leave somebody. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. Most of the things I don't wanna say. I won't be around while you chase. You know what I'm saying? You'll try to come back when you fail. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly and I also go by Carly B Sims on both Tumblr and TikTok. So follow me there if you would like to see more of my Sims 4 content. So guys, it feels like I haven't filmed in forever. I have taken a unintentional break from content creating and filming for a little bit, just focusing on other aspects of my life and trying not to let content creation take over. But I have missed it a lot and I've been wanting to start this Oasis Springs Let's Play series for so long. So I am so excited to be bringing you guys episode one of my new Let's Play, which is called Oasis Diaries Star our girl right here valentina fiori the vibes for this is single and loving it that's the lifestyle trait that she currently has and has earned so you guys know i love my family gameplay if you have seen my growing together series but i wanted something different wanted to switch it up and just start with a single sim and especially have a sim that just doesn't get into a serious relationship that fast. I want to enjoy getting to know Val and really focus on her career this time and maybe her aspiration as well rather than finding a serious partner and settling down and starting a family straight away. I love to do that. That's The Sims but I wanted something different this time around. So with Val I really want to take our time, get to know other people, get to know the people of Oasis Springs because she did move in about a year ago and she's really only settled in like the last few months. So yeah I'm very excited. Now if you guys would have seen my community Community post, I intentionally had Val as a lawyer, but last minute I decided to switch that up and we have now changed her over to the journalist career or the writing career or author career right now. So she's currently in the writing career. She's level three, which is like, I think like a freelance writer, but we'll get into that. Her goal is to become a journalist. And right now she's setting her sights on becoming a journalist and a front page writer for the media company she works out, which is Walrus Publishing and Media, which we will get into, but it's kind of a mix of both the author and journalist careers. So the same company does both. So we're going to take you guys through a work day for Val. I'm really excited to get into that. We'll also be playing with the Turbo Careers mod by Zerbu, which allows certain careers that were usually non-active to become active careers. So we can actually follow Val to work in her writer career. Now Val's traits are neat and overachiever and she's a foodie. Her favorite thing is going out for brunch and dinner with her girlies or with her dates. And other things she likes are cooking, writing, reading, wellness, fitness, and boxing. She recently got into boxing or I want to get her into boxing. Aside from going out for brunch and dinners, she also likes going to the spa and just cozying up and reading a book. And she loves cleaning her apartment, honestly. Like she just loves to treat herself, take care of herself really well. And yeah, Val...
So right now it's around 6.30 a.m. on a Saturday morning and the plan for today is we're actually going to be having a neighborhood potluck or barbecue. So the neighbors just wanted to host it to get to know Theo since as you guys would have seen from the intro, he just moved in. So everyone's going to be cooking some food, bringing it down and we'll be hosting it at the pool. And if we look at her work schedule, as you can see, it's a little different. So instead of the Monday to Friday schedule, she actually has Wednesday, Fridays and Saturdays off and she works tomorrow, Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And her work hours are from 9 to 5 p.m. And she is a freelance article writer currently, which is rank three of the writing career. And her promotion tasks are to reach level three in writing. We are currently level two. And then we need to write books, which we haven't started yet. So I want to do a little bit of that today. So I'll just take you through her usual Saturday and then we're going to cook a meal for the potluck. And with the aspiration, right now I have it as neighborhood confidant. She wants to successfully advise and influence the lives of other sims, become good friends with five sims, and achieve level seven of the charisma skill. I feel like all of this will help her to be a journalist. And what's this? Influence sims in other households by giving advice, helping with career and family decisions, and hooking them up with other sims? <gasps> Oh my gosh, I feel like she'd love to do that. So I couldn't really decide what I wanted her to have for an aspiration, but this honestly seems pretty relevant to her for now. And I will show you guys a tour of her apartment as well, but let's get her to sit over here. And I'm gonna turn the lights on because it's a little bit dark. Oh, it's already on, okay. And let's see here, we can do some writing. We'll resume writing a children's book. Since she's only level two, we can only have her write a children's book. Also, she's complaining that it's messy and it's filthy right now. So we'll probably get her to clean up today. And her current whims are to finish reading a book and use a punching bag at the gym, which maybe we'll do today before we get ready for the barbecue. So I'm gonna pin those two. While we're here, I'm gonna leave her to do her writing and I'll take you guys through a tour of the apartment. So the apartment we are staying at is called the Oasis. And this is originally the Windenburg Apartments built by Pixel Glam or Emily, which is one of my favorite Sims 4 content creators. I love all of her builds and I just love her aesthetic so much. So definitely check out that and i will link it in the description below if you guys would like to download it for yourself i did change the color scheme of the front of the building or just the color scheme of the building in general since it is an oasis springs not windenburg i wanted it to match that modern aesthetic a little bit more and i changed the trees to palm trees you know for the oasis vibes one of the biggest changes was this whole back unit that i added this is like a recreational area we have like a barbecue here we have a big pool here as you can see and cabanas and sun loungers and and yeah, just a place to chill for the neighbors. And this is like the barbecue area. And we also have a bar here as well. So it's a very luxurious vibe to this apartment. The original Windenburg apartments fit on a 30-20 lot, I believe. So I put the lot on a 40 by 30 and added this whole back area because I just wanted to add some things for the neighbors to do. And as you can see, one of them is eating some food right now. We'll introduce you guys to all the neighbors at the potluck. Oh, she's cleaning up. So this is what the front of the apartment looks like this whole area here i've kind of turned into like this open lounge area and this area over here which i'll show you is the gym which i've left as is so i've just edited like the equipment in the gym but the layout should be the same except i added a sauna so let's go into this place so you come in and I added elevators as well. These are the elevators by Ravachine. So they are a mod and there used to be stairs here, but I just wanted to utilize the space more. So I put these elevators instead. So this is what the waiting room area looks like. We just have some seating over here. This is a frame TV. And then on this side, we have a coffee station, which I can see the fumes are starting to come out of right now. So that'll need to be changed. When you look on this side, we have the mailbox to the right, and then we have the entrance to the gym, which we will go into. And this is what the gym looks like, guys. I love it. It's so spacey. Um, we just have some boxing bags, which I've left. This came with the original layout. And I left the yoga mats here as well. But we have these two arm machines. I believe I changed the layout slightly because I added like my own equipment and stuff. But we have these treadmills. We have the free weights area over here. 
And then just by the entrance, as you can see, we have like these yoga mats by the mirror. And that was the entrance. We also have this functional water filter tank. This is the free weight section where I use a lot of the let's get fit mod. And then on this side, this is using the flow fit. I have the two ellipticals and one rower machine. And that is using the flow fit mod by Sim Realist. And both the let's get fit and flow fit mod were mentioned in my latest mods video that I posted. And then from the free weight section, it faces this sauna over here. So the Sims have a nice place to relax to, just get a sweat on. So that is the floor layout of the first floor. And as you can see here, these are the doors to go outside to the whole pool area. So let's go up a level. We just have the two apartment units over here. So this is not where Val is staying. Val stays on the top level. There are four apartments in total, but we just have like the empty hallway here and a vending machine and the other elevator. And then we go up one level and this is Val's floor. This is where Teddy, who you saw from the intro lives or Theo, I should say. So her hallway looks pretty much the same as the hallway below but she has this little welcome mat here as well and then you go into her apartment and this is what it looks like overall she is just level three of the writing career which doesn't make that much money but she does come from a wealthy background so just for a little bit of her background we won't go into it too much she does have a dad who is a very successful business owner he has a business empire pretty much her mom did pass away unfortunately and yeah her and her dad have a kind of odd relationship like it's not the closest relationship especially ever since her mom passed away her dad's always kind of been buried in work but we'll get into that a little bit more as we continue to play although she loves her dad a lot and they both love each other very much they're just kind of awkward about showing it okay so let's go into her apartment from the door this is what you see so we have the dining table right here. We have the living room and then the kitchen area over there. This is another look at her living space. I love how it turned out, guys. This is like her little reading corner where she likes to sit and read her book. And I love this CC painting because this reminds me of like the Prada art that Lily has in Gossip Girl. So I love how that looks. And then here we have the dining area and then we have this mixology table. So this is a functional bar cart from Ravishing, which was also made mentioned in my mod video and it just basically replaces that big bar that you have to put down usually to make drinks and it gives you a more minimal option that saves space from the other side as well this is what the front door looks like we have the light switches here and we have the thermostat we have this little bench here where she sits and puts her shoes on before she leaves we have some of her workout stuff if she wants to do like at home workout and some of her shopping bags this is a look at her kitchen the robot vacuum is currently doing its thing right now so it's not in its dock we have the polaroid wall that we have started already which you guys would have seen glimpses of from the behind the scenes and yeah this is the kitchen area she likes to do her work here as well check her emails she keeps a tablet on the shelf here by the stove so that she can like watch the cooking channel or just watch netflix while she cooks her meals this is a closer glimpse at the polaroid wall guys so we just have the photos from the spooky party they had last year or a few months ago and yeah yeah, she killed it she is jessica rabbit in these photos guys and she looks so good i can't this is her work bestie elliot hayes he's dressed as jack skellington and this is her best friend in general and also her work bestie josie parker who dresses one of the cheetah girls and this is a photo with her and her friend naomi hara they went to the romance festival together in samai shuno one time and she is actually theo hara's cousin and theo is the person we met in the intro who she does have a bit of background with and then this is what her balcony looks like we just have a sun lounger here she keeps some magazines here we have a yoga mat a kettlebell a place to eat outside and we just have a grill here as well next to the living room we have her bedroom of course so this is the overview of what it looks like so this is her bed area this is the area where she gets dressed and she checks herself out in the mirror she just has her christian dior bag as well i have this bag in like every sim save i just love this cc and then over here we have her vanity area we just have some books here this is her suitcase for traveling because she loves to do some of that we have her robe and yeah her whole vanity space her planner over here we have some more photos so we have these two photos with josie more photos from the halloween party and then we have her brightchester graduation photo which is so cute guys 
Over here is where she puts her bags. So she has like this briefcase at the bottom for work when she needs to take like a lot of stuff. So this is what the layout of her bathroom looks like. We just have the shower here, the toilet, hamper, and then her vanity sink area over here. And we also have this balcony outside just for some more fresh air. And then this is just a closer look at her vanity. We have a smart mirror here, her blow dryer, her skims candle. I didn't even realize it said that her toothpaste and hand wash and some of her skincare and body care here. We have some perfumes that are functional, some body lotions that are functional, her face wash and functional deodorant. And then over here, we just have her shower area and some body products over here. What does she have? So she has the Simply Nourish Body Wash. I'm not sure what smell this is. It says coconut and rice milk, I think, and shea butter. And then her Dove shea butter and vanilla. And then we also have a balcony out here by her bedroom door. We just have a chair here if she ever wants to sit down. And I just left the attic stack decoration box out here so I didn't have to look at it if I ever want to use that. But that is pretty much her apartment. Also these solar panels, I just added to the apartment and this water heater because apparently the eco-industrial footprint is very bad and my sims keep coughing. And I was really sick of my sims just choking on the air. So I disabled it in the game options, but I think they're still doing it. So I'm not really sure how to fix that issue. I put these down to see if it would help and it doesn't really. So that is pretty much the tour of her apartment. This is the street that she lives on. As you can see, we have a cafe here that I built and then a downloaded CC restaurant that I got from another creator on Tumblr. And this is her favorite organic vegan restaurant called Organic Bliss. This is the Big Shot Cafe, but I will get into the details of these when we visit these lots in this series, which I'm super excited to do because her favorite thing, like I said, is to go for brunch dates and for dinners and lunches with her friends. She just loves to eat out in general and that is honestly one of my favorite things to do in the game i just love going to the different restaurants and going out for dinner like i don't know why it's such a mundane activity but that is my favorite thing to do in real life and my favorite thing to do in the game okay guys so she is still writing as we can see and she also did just reach level three of the writing skill which is amazing and we are 50 percent done with writing so i think we're gonna take a break here and continue <laughs> later on and apparently her apartment is quite messy right now, so I'm going to get her to go on a cleaning frenzy. <laughs> okay, girl, you can go on your cleaning frenzy now. What's she going to do? What, is there mess on your vanity or is she just going to clean it? Oh, she's just going to clean her vanity area. Is that it? <laughs> so your apartment's that messy because of your vanity area? Is that what it was? Is that literally all? Oh my gosh, you complain way too easily, girl. And also, as you can see, she did take a birth control pill. I do have wonderful whims in my game. And yeah, she's on her birth control because I'm not trying to get a baby right now, okay? I know in all my other Let's Plays, we just get into the family straight away, but I really want to take our time with meeting different people. I want her to enjoy her single and loving it lifestyle. Um, I don't know where you find that here, but I know she has it. Oh, here it is. She has the single and loving it lifestyle, okay. <laughs> lifestyle effects, various benefits when single, increased skill gain in all skills when single, less likely to acquire romantic sentiment, finds romantic media somewhat unrealistic increased work performance and tense when in a new committed relationship Ooh, okay i think this is honestly so perfect for her right now that is the vibes i'm going with for this let's play series but right now as you can see she's hungry something else i did want to do today was place an order with the healthy delivery service from sns yeah i wanted to place her weekly order so that she has her meal prep ready for the week because she does like to order healthy meals from there to take to work and have lunch at work Oh, she's changed into her hot weather outfit. And I just got her to grab some leftovers um, from the fridge. Okay, girl decided to eat outside today. Okay, so she is going all the way outside to eat today. Why not? It's a sunny day. <laughs> what is she eating? Baked potato. Oh, nice. She must have made this earlier. Okay, so we'll just have her eat, get her hunger up. 
Okay, it's looking pretty good. Now that she's done, we're gonna get her to do some boxing at the gym. We might actually invite her friend Josie over to do that with her. So we are now at the gym, as you can see. We have our friend Josie here, our best friend, like I mentioned earlier, and they're just stretching right now and warming up for their workout. And they're in matching outfits. Oh my gosh, they're both wearing black. I love it. That was unplanned, guys, unintentional. Okay, so Val's gonna go over here and do some boxing. Apparently, she's doing this session barefoot today. Guys, look at them. They're both doing boxing together. How cute. Oh, Val really needs some work, guys. This is why she's starting. It's a new hobby for her. Okay, apparently we reached fitness level five. Oh, wow. She can now make protein shakes at the bar. She can also perform the no sweat run on the treadmill. And she has improved her endurance and will lose less energy when swimming. This is Josie Parker, like I mentioned, Val's best friend. She works at the same company as Val, which is called Walrus Publishing and Media, which I will show you guys tomorrow. She is a writer's assistant currently, a young adult, just like Val. I envision them to be... I think they're both like 25 right now. That's what I'll stick with. Oh, look, she's got a nice sweat on. But she was also one of the sims I put up for download as well. Oh, she's changed into her normal everyday outfit or her summer outfit. And this is the outfit that Val was literally wearing. I didn't realize I gave him the outfit, but she's come out here to talk to these two. Okay, do a friendly introduction to him. This is Ty Michaels. He is engaged to Isla Haynes, who he lives with. And I will introduce them at the potluck as well. They're actually talking with Val's work bestie. <gasps> okay. So they're talking right now with Elliot Hayes, who was Jack Skellington in the Polaroid photos. And what? Josie has romance with Elliot. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. This is Elliot Hayes, which is one of Val's co-workers. He is not one of the tenants here at this apartment, but him and Josie actually live in the same apartment, which is called Casa Palma, which is in another neighborhood, actually quite close to where they work. But yeah, he also works at Walrus Publishing and Media. And yeah, he is Josie and Val's work bestie and also happens to be Theo's best friend. So that was a coincidence. They're quite a close-knit group. I did not know they had some romance. That just completely happened when I wasn't looking. She perceives him as very attractive. And as you can see, they are neighbors and co-workers. And they also have amazing compatibility. <gasps> How cute! Oh my gosh. I did not know that. I actually think he's working the same position as Val is right now. Okay, it looks like the girls have changed, but they're looking quite sweaty. Also, has Val finally ticked off? Okay, I don't know why it didn't take off that whim, but I'm taking it off because she clearly used the punching bag. She has the sweat to show for it. But I'm gonna get her to go upstairs and shower. Okay, I know that they came over. Oh, look, Theo's just in the pool right now. So this is Teddy or Theo Hara, who just moved in across from Val. And he's currently lounging at the pool and he is just starting at the same company that the other three work at. And he's starting as a front page writer, which of course is Val's dream job, which he happened to take. But yeah, it's kind of been like that since the Brightchester days. They actually went to university together and they were kind of like enemies or frenemies and rivals. She was always kind of chasing after him because he's always just been effortlessly good at writing. And he's just always been one step above her. Right now he is multiple steps above her. So it's kind of the same thing all over again so as you can see from their relationship it's a little bit complicated so as i said they didn't really like each other and there is more history to their backstory which i want to unravel as we go through the let's play series because i don't want to do it all at once so if we open up our sentiments with each other it says here he's self-assured a romantic and a geek he is a writer at walrus books um, let's just pretend it has the bright dresser education here. We have this sentiment over here, hot and cold. Are they on or off? People can never tell. There's some layers to their relationship, clearly. She finds him extremely attractive. You know, we'll see how they go because now they're literally neighbors and co-workers. So they are going to be seeing each other every day. It's like unavoidable at this point. So they're going to have to find a way to get along. I'll leave these two to just chat with each other while Val goes and showers. Josie's gonna need to borrow her shower too. Let's talk to him though while we're waiting. Let's do a hip bump. I feel like these two get along really well. So they were introduced to each other through Val. This is another one of Val's neighbors, guys. This is Thi Ti Poom and one of my subscribers actually made her. We'll get Josie to introduce herself. 
She is actually from Tomorani, so let's do a Tomorani introduction to her. And complain about work to Elliot. Oh, Val's showered and she's coming back out. Have you showered, girl? You look like you're still sweaty. Oh, okay, she's randomly doing push-ups. Nice. Okay, Josie, well, you need to shower as well because you are still sweaty, girl. So she is gonna borrow Val's shower and take a steamy shower. Why not? What are her moodlets right now? Oh, she's feeling focused from improved posing. We'll get Val to talk to Elliot in the meantime. Help fix. Oh, she's sick. I forgot. We have medicine, guys. Okay, she should be all better now. Let's do some friendly, do some interests. Share single and loving it tips. Just talk about her dates lately. As you guys can also see, I have just added the potluck to the calendar. So it's going to start at 5 p.m. And I think instead of making the main meal before it starts, I'm actually going to do the barbecue while we're actually there, like when the event has started. So I'm going to cook whatever she's planning to in the barbecue when that starts. But I might start making like some appetizers and things like that. So yeah, I guess we're just going to talk to Elliot in the meantime, who seems to have come over early. Discuss work with him. Let's do some funny interactions. Tell him a funny story. Girl, no. Why do my sims have to do this? Oh, did we gain new sentiments? Let's see here. Oh, closer from happy memories. Cute. Just good friends. Oh, perfect. This is a solid relationship built on trust and good memories. Amazing. Where is he going now? Let's see where he goes. Oh, he's going to my apartment. Of course he is. Well, the event is actually going to start soon. Okay, let's start. Congratulations on getting that big promotion at work. You deserved it. That was from Will Spencer, who's actually our landlord. What did they change into? Oh, good. She changed into the outfit I gave her. A protein cookie. Let's put that back. All right. Now that we are here, we need to compliment a potluck item, call guest to meal, and thank a guest for coming. Since Elliot is here, let's thank him for coming. He's changed into his party outfit, apparently. Thank for coming. And then let's do some appetizers. I just want to do like a charcuterie board if I can find one. Fruit and chocolate pot gourmet cheese board. Let's just do that. Let's do a cheese board. I want to do a cheese board and then maybe have Elliot buy some wine from here. Buy alcohol and what should we get here? Let's buy some wine. Which one's more expensive? He can buy the more expensive one for us. We'll buy some white wine for a summer day. Okay, so we've got the wine. Oh, milestone complete has completed. What? What did you take off to do with being a parent? That was so interesting. Okay. I did not even know that that was his aspiration. I don't think he's ready for kids right now, though. Let's go downstairs and start barbecuing. Okay, so we are downstairs and Elliot is tending the bar, practicing his mixology skill, you know, starting a new hobby. And we're going to grill some food here. I think we're going to do some barbecued chicken. So we'll have Valentina start doing that. And then everyone is just over here. Guys, where is your meals? Hmm? I thought this was a potluck. Oh, they're, they've started on the wine. Oh, that is so cute. They did that themselves. So I'll get into the introductions while Valentina does some cooking. Oh, we've reached level 8 of the cooking skill. Amazing. Oh, we already hit gold? What? Okay, what potluck food have they been eating? I've only seen Isla eat anything. 
So as you guys saw before, this is the O'Hara, Val's neighbor who lives across from her. This is Isla Haynes, and she is the fiance of Ty Michaels, who we saw outside earlier. She is a stay-at-home fiance, so she's not working right now. Over here, this is Ty Michaels. He is a successful businessman, and yeah, he's engaged to Isla. This is DT Poom, one of my subscribers made DT, so shout out to them. But I just put on my own CC, gave her a little bit of a makeover to make her fit in with my sims. She is actually a Tomarang actress. She's not successful yet, but she's trying. And she left Tomarang because there was a scandal involving her ex. So I guess she was successful in Tomarang, but her name isn't really out there here in Oasis Springs. So she did move out here for a break, and that backstory did come from the creator of DT, which I loved, honestly. I love all the drama. So yeah, she is an aspiring actress. And over here we have Will Spencer. This is actually the landlord who they all get along with really well because he's a really chill landlord. He's really good. He gets the job done, listens to all of their complaints and repairs, and they're really happy with their living conditions because of him. It looks like Val was just using the toilet, but she has finished her meal now. So let's call to meal. And oh wait, this is the potluck food guys, they did bring food! Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize. Oh, I love that. But we'll start with Val's. We have the music playing as well. And I also did just quickly add these lights around the pool. I just thought it was like a nice touch. And also so that when it gets really dark outside, these lights can turn on because we didn't really have much lighting around here. Why did they just all glitch? Why do they do that? Why do my sims do that? Call to meal again, I guess. Okay. Everyone's grabbing their meals now. And we have some wine on the floor. Why do my sims just like reset like that? What is this music playing? Let's change the station. Um, let's do Latin pop. Oh, it looks like Josie's gonna sit here. Oh, ask about love life. Can we, s oh, oh. I'm missing all the things. Compliment. Compliment potluck item. And let's also do an introduction to Isla. He looks sad right now. Oh, he's hungry. I'll let him stop doing that and I'll let him eat a meal. And he can drink this as well. Oh my gosh, my sims are so messy. Like, why do they leave food on the floor like that? Oh, Theti's grading Theo. That was so nice. Looks like they get along really well. Oh my gosh, let's just eat this food on the floor. Oh, good. The lights have finally turned on. Oh, these two are gonna start dancing. Where's Val? Girl, why I'm gonna lock this door for you so you don't go back up there. That is so annoying. Everyone else is hanging out downstairs because I locked them out. Girl, what are you eating? That Oh, she's cleaning the dishes. Oh, she's cleaning up. Good for her. Look at all this food that's just out here. Aw, Elliot's eating a burger. Also, something I'll just quickly get into. As you can see here, look at her relationship with Will Spencer. This is him in his landlord outfit. He's actually a businessman who is just really into investing in property, but he does have his landlord outfit, of course, but he is perceived as attractive and they're actually woohoo partners. Um, this is a recent development. I think it literally just happened like two days ago but yeah they're woohoo partners he came over to repair her toilet and they started you know talking she found him attractive and they have amazing compatibility i don't know why i have never had a sim who has amazing compatibility with this many people i literally don't know why like i've just realized that now but anyway they have amazing compatibility so i guess they just really got on well and apparently they're lovers okay this is just supposed to be a woohoo partnership it is not supposed to be love but I don't know. Val just gets in her feelings like that. They are not in an actual official relationship because I'm not letting her do that yet. But yeah, so she has a woohoo partnership with her landlord, guys. Oh, girl, you're just playing waitress right now. Let's talk to Teddy. Tell a gross joke. Let's tell a gross joke to him. Look at her. She's such a good host. 
Oh, look at Teddy busting down. I don't even think he has time to talk to us. Girl, stop cleaning! Oh my gosh! She won't stop! Look at Josie, like, actually talking to everyone. Okay, it looks like Ty's heading home early. Complaints. Complain about work to him. And maybe let's just do some mischief since they don't get along well. Dare to jump. Let's get everyone to grab a... Oh, is this empty? Oh, it looks like the alcohol's empty, guys. I did bring a serving tray out here. Oh, our cheese board! Is it spoiled? Okay, it's not. Let's call it a meal. I completely forgot about that. I'm gonna get Elliot to serve some drinks here. Serve liquor. Um, apple teenies. Let's do that. Where's he going? Wait, where are they going? What are they doing? Where are all my sims going? What are you guys doing? Are you gonna go skinny dipping or something? I'm- I'm actually so confused. I don't know what's happening. Why are you all sitting out here? Oh, okay, you just want to have like a private moment. Are my sims serious? Are you serious right now? Oh my gosh. They just brought their potluck food- Since when did they put it on parts that aren't part of the lot? How does that make any sense? Okay, everyone's gonna grab their apple teenies. Oh, we need to gossip with some sims. Let's talk to Isla and gossip. Gossip about neighbors. Right in front of them. I'm gonna take this because she has already cleaned up. She been cleaning up, so I'm gonna take that off. Where are you going, girl? Oh, apparently the neighborhood potluck is complete. And we earned a gold medal! Okay, so that was like a really good introduction, guys. While we're here, let's complain about work to Theo. She's gonna complain about the fact that he has the front page writer role and he's like, Look, I knew I was gonna hear about this, but, you know, take that up to management and if you want that role, you gotta work for it yourself. He's like, don't be upset, I've always been the better writer. Oh, wait. Okay, I press gossip about neighbors. Let's do... Deception. Lie about career. No, I think he'd know. Guys, look, everyone's gone home and it looks like the girls are just here chatting. Let's talk to each other. Um, brighten her day. Flirty conversation. Uh -huh. Jokes. Let's make a joke about marriage since she's going to be getting married. Oh my gosh, throw drink. No, he hasn't done anything wrong just yet, guys. Speculate about other sims. She's going to be like, who's asked that you kiss to get to the role that you're in now? Mean. Let's have an argument. Criticize woohoo techniques. <gasps> Let's do that. Let's criticize woohoo techniques. And also, she wants to have a drink at the bar venue. Oh, okay. We'll do that probably in the next episode or something. Oh, he's so mad about that. Because I will show you guys her milestones. Okay, so as you can see from her milestones, it does say that her first woohoo was with Theo. So yeah, they did woohoo together. They had a romantic relationship. But as you can see here, we also have other milestones like first promotion, first bladder failure, got drunk, got a job. This is just related to the writing career. And she has these two fell in love sentiments. So one is with Will Spencer and one is with Theo. I don't like the fact that she has one with Will though, because I did not want it to be like that, but that was just... I didn't really... I literally didn't intentionally do that, it just happened. But yeah, apparently she has really deep feelings for Will as well. 
And we'll see where that goes. She is going to be on the roster, you know? Gossip about co-workers. Let's talk to Thiti and get to know her a little bit more. If I'm pronouncing her name wrong, guys, please feel free to let me know. Small talk. Ask for a tampon or pad? That is so cute. Is that a thing? Can you actually do that? Likes and dislikes. Talk about dining preferences. She said, sure, here you go. Oh my gosh. I love that. Oh, Valentinus reached level 3 of the comedy skill. Oh, they all get along really well. You know, even though she has her moments with Theo, I think we're going to try and keep it civil with him since they work together now. They're going to try and get along, put the past behind them. And let's see if we can bring down that negative, like friendship bar it's 5 45 a.m the next day val is just asleep what we're going to do right now is get her up and take you through her morning routine before work just a little bit of a glimpse not the full routine because i did want to take you guys through a work day in her life in this episode but i think i'm actually going to save that for the next episode just because i didn't realize how long this episode already was so i think we'll just stick to it being mainly about introductions and you know an introduction to val's life and then the next episode will be a day in her life as an inspiring journalist but right now let's just go through a slow morning then she'll go to work and we'll catch up with you guys after so let's get her to wake up we have work in four hours so we are 50 percent done with writing books i'm gonna get her to do like her morning skincare hygiene all of that stuff let's get her to brush teeth And she's just gonna wear her hair in a bun as usual so she doesn't need to blow dry or style or anything like that. Let's put on some deodorant. And what's her hygiene sitting at? Our hygiene's full so I think she's still fresh from last night. So we're just gonna quickly use the toilet since she needs to do that. And our needs are actually looking pretty good. I think we're just going to have a coffee to help boost our energy since we didn't get much sleep last night. So I'm going to boil the kettle. So she's just come out here to make her morning coffee. And her pajamas are so cute, guys. Her loungewear outfit, I love it. Let's turn on the news so we can just stay updated on what's happening right now. Oh guys, we got we forgot to place our order. I'm gonna place it now on the phone and if the delivery person comes in time or not, we will see. So order a delivery. I don't know if it's gonna arrive here before nine, but we'll see what happens. Okay, order delivery SNS healthy food and let's order our meal prep for the week. So we have work Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. So we have to prep for four days and the rest you can just cook from home. So let's get here. Hmm, chicken stewed with beans and green salad. I think that's going to be our main meal for the week. So let's get four of these. That's going to be like her main lunch at work. And then we're going to get her some soup for dinner whenever she can't be bothered so these are just for the work days some dried fruit snacks maybe let's get her some apples and then we'll get her four fruit cups and fruit salad grilled steak maybe we'll also get her another option we'll get grilled steak and baked red pepper we can also have that just as our extra meals if we need it. So I'm gonna get some steak as well for her. And then let's also get some oatmeal for breakfast. We'll get this oatmeal porridge with berries and nuts. We'll get four of those. And then let's get some protein bars. Let's get cookies and cream, four of those. And then we'll get one more flavor. Let's do apple pie. Oh, that's protein cookie. Yeah, let's get a protein cookie instead. We'll get an apple pie, protein cookie for those. And then let's get a protein shake and we'll get strawberry. I think that should be all. I don't think I'm going to have anything else. Let's just do that. Oh, guys, her funds are dwindling. That's because I've... Okay, I'm going to cheat that. Hold on. 
but I did just edit it because I used some of her funds to furnish the outside. I don't know why it works like that, but yeah, it comes out of her own pocket to furnish the outside. So I just cheated that back up. I'm sure she would have more in her savings, but you know, let's just build up and work to get as much as we can. Okay, so it's about 7.30 a.m. I think her coffee's ready. So let's do coffee and do a light roast. Ah, okay, talk to yourself in between. Okay. Okay, and now that she has her coffee, we're gonna write in her journal slash planner. She might just do like her morning gratitude. You know what? I'm gonna think of this like her five minute journal. So she's gonna do like her morning gratitude and you know, just get her in the right headspace for the day ahead. Oh, she's sad about something. I don't know what she's reflecting on, but she seems pretty sad. Also, I do have a pencil override as well, so it's a white pencil. And if you guys saw the journal earlier, it's a different journal, and that is the Wellness Journal by BabyGal123, and I'll link that ah. down below. Looks like our robot vacuum is doing his cleaning routine. <gasps> our order arrived! Let's just pause that for a second and accept the delivery. Why is he whispering? He sounds paranoid. Okay, let's unload our delivery bag and we'll just give him a tip. Usually we'll do yoga or a workout, but she actually didn't get much time this morning because she didn't get much sleep last night. So she's just going to change and head off to work and we will catch up with you guys after. That's a fat dollar. Okay, it says thank you for using the SNS delivery service. If you enjoyed my service, please leave me a nice rating. If you didn't, please keep your mouth shut. We gave you a tip. Of course, we enjoyed your service. So as you can see, it's officially time for work. I'm going to have Val head off and we will catch up with you guys when she gets back. So Val is back and she is going into the sauna to relax and unwind after work. And it looks like Theo was actually already in here. So these two are just going to chill together, I guess. Kiss! Oh my gosh, guys, I was just... <laughs> Guys, I was having Theo talk to Valentina and Kiss comes up. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. We are not going to be doing that. No, sir. Let's ask him about his career. Ask about how it is at his new role. Um, just ask about the day. Oh. What? Why is Ty just standing here? Oh, it's stinking here. Oh my gosh. What is happening? Oh my gosh, is it broken? Why does it look like that? Okay, I think it's time for us to go because that looks nasty. Like, I can't believe Ty just appeared like that. Um, and this is about his upcoming wedding, I guess. Let's go grab some water. Since she's probably feeling a bit dehydrated. That is such a weird place to talk to your neighbors. Look, is that like their butt marks? <laughs> That's so realistic. Oh look, Isla's come in. She's like, um, why are you talking to these people in their towels? Oh, she's coming in to work out. Cute. I love seeing my neighbors like actually using the space. Oh, she's got a pee. Just gonna have some water and then let's get her to take care of her knees. Oh, guys, look. Isla came in here to do some squats. Look at her working on her fitness. That is so cute. Oh, why is Theo in our apartment? And our freaking vacuum's broken. Do we have to repair it? Oh, we have to empty the trash. Oh, what if Theo does something nice and empties the trash for her? Who invited you up here, sir? Yes. 
So apparently Valentina decided to keep talking to Theo and invited him back to her place because she's like, you know what, we need to get along with each other. Let's call a truce. I know we haven't gotten along well in the past, but we're going to be working together, living together pretty much. So let's just start a new fresh page. I hope you guys can hear me over the TV. Wait a second. What are they watching? Are they like watching a romantic movie? <gasps> are they watching a romantic movie together? Why does it look like they're watching a romantic movie together? Okay, so I think Theo has agreed to kind of start fresh and <laughs> argue about career. <laughs> no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna turn a new page. Look guys, their hate bar is going down. <gasps> Oh my gosh, guys! What was that? What are her moodlets? She's like in the mood. And guys, why does this come up whenever we click on Val? If it comes up again after like discussing work, then you know, I'm. Oh my gosh. Okay. Maybe. Let's make a move. So I think that. Oh my gosh. <gasps> They're snuggling. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, look at them. Look, he's making a move and she's literally giving in. Okay, it looks like she can't deny the attraction she has for him either. This is the thing with them guys, they're hot and cold. Like, even though she's cold to him and there's some things in the past that she doesn't like to think about, she can't deny the attraction she has for him, especially when they're alone. Oh my gosh, guys, Kiss still came up. I'm gonna complain about actor. Okay, Val's gonna be like, I'm gonna shower. You can just like chill out here if you want to. And I think Theo's gonna make them a drink while she showers, but I'll just get her to do that. Let's take a steamy shower because, you know, I just wanna heat things up a little bit. Look at them getting along. Like, guys, this hate bar has gone down a lot. <gasps> They're so flirty. Okay, while she goes to shower, I'm gonna get him to make a drink. Let's make some red wine. Yeah, let's do red wine. I feel like unwinding with- wait, listen. You can hear her singing in the shower. Oh, she's in such a good mood, guys. Okay, so he has brought out the red wine for them. And let's go and get him to check himself out in the mirror. Get him to psych himself up. Because while Val was in for a rude awakening, when she saw that Theo was now living with her, or like living in the same apartment building and was going to work in the same place, he was actually quite excited to see her again. He had kind of forgotten all the bitterness of the past and he was just taken aback and pretty excited to see Val because he hadn't seen her in a while. Okay, let's get them to have a drink together and he'll get himself a drink. Let's get him to sit here and compliment her appearance and he's just gonna be like i have to say val after all these years you still look as good as ever Ooh, see well. <sighs> let's talk about flavor preferences Ooh, she's flirting with him oh now a bit Guys, I think the alcohol is getting to her already. Pick up line. Oh. Oh my gosh, guys. She's like putty in his hands. Discuss heartwarming scene. Guys, look at his moodlets. He likes the decoration, commanding complexity, feeling flirty. And she's also feeling flirty, of course, because she just took a steamy shower. 
Sexy pose? <laughs> okay, let's do that. Discuss emotional connection. I think Val is gonna talk about, you know, their past and where things used to be and just be like, I know we have a past, but I'm willing to forgive and forget or forgive and move on at least. Let's embrace each other to kind of just like have our truce. Theo has learned the following preferences about Val. She likes bar venues, the gym, cafe, and spa. Aww. Oh, He's got to use the toilet, so we'll have him use the toilet. Oh my gosh, what is she gonna do? Attempt missile tokus! <gasps> She's doing this all on her own. Girl, it is summer, it's not even close to winter. I mean, in my side of the world it is, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, while he's there, maybe she can like practice pickup lines. Look at her! She doesn't know how to act. It's like she's completely forgotten everything that's happened between them. Oh my gosh, stop! Not her spraying perfume for him! Oh my gosh! She's so cute! Confess attraction. I think she literally. Stop it. She literally just sprayed breath spray. Oh my. Girl, that's enough perfume. That's enough perfume. I think we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for a kiss. We are not gonna be doing that. No, sir. Okay, so Theo's come back out with some courage. Nice. <gasps> oh my goodness, guys. Ask to be boyfriend. No. Oh my gosh. Okay, they did that one on their own. Rolspa. Quas. And she'll say that she's also still attracted to him. Ask about woohoo interest. Whisper seductively. Oh my gosh, look at them. They're so romantic. Hold me closer. Does Val like physical intimacy? Yes, I would say she does. Oh, he's offering her a rose. Oh my gosh. These two, like, how far are they gonna go? Look at them. So I think I'm going to end the episode here as I have Val <laughs> write in her journal. Oh my gosh, she has like butterflies in her stomach. She cannot stop thinking about that romantic exchange she just had with Theo. And oh my gosh, look at her. She's acting all like shy and stuff about it, but she's just gonna write about that. Let me know your thoughts on this episode, guys. Let me know your thoughts on her relationships with Theo and Will, although we didn't really get to see much of her relationship with Will just yet. Everything will just continue to progress as we play with this series and I'll definitely be shedding some light on her past with Theo or Teddy a bit more in the future episodes too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I can't wait to see you in the next episode. Bye guys.